What's going on everyone? Chandler Wee here with Lebanon Ford. Today we are going to be taking a look at the 2018 Ford Expedition and the 2018 Ford EcoBoost, Ford's largest and smallest SUVs. We're going to do some driving comparisons, some back-to-backs, and to show you guys what makes each of them so fantastic in their own way. Up first we have Ford's 2018 all-new Expedition. This particular vehicle rides on the F-150 chassis with an independent rear suspension and the 3.5 EcoBoost. The best thing about this one, the Limited. 20 inch wheels, power running boards, auto folding mirrors, the no lift assist rear tailgate and four wheel drive. It is absolutely gorgeous inside and out. Let's take a closer look. So we are now inside the 2018 Expedition Limited. Let's take a look around from the driver's seat. So with the front flipped up, this is about my view out the front. You can see that there's plenty of room on the sides. There are optional blind spot monitors. And even looking over my shoulder, I can still see pretty well all the way around. The best part too, there's a very large back window. That means that seeing out the mirrors is actually very easy. And I can also keep a really good eye on my passengers and what they're doing, which would be great for families with small kids. We all know kind of how that goes. The panoramic roof is also really nice. It lets a lot of natural light and it feels like there's a lot more glass in here um, and a lot more natural light than you'd think for a vehicle of this size. Things starting to warm up. I will tell you what, it is very cold out, 24. The steering wheel heater is a fantastic feature. I've had the car on about 30 seconds and it's already nice and warm, which is great because my hands were freezing out there. Taking a look at the center screen right here, as you can see, there's tons of different options and ways to configure this screen set up exactly how you want. You have different trip modes that show miles to empty. You have gauge views that show critical information on the car. And you even have towing where you can set up a trailer and off-road. Check that out. That's pretty cool. So just a quick tour around the interior of the Explorer to show you guys some of the available storage. You have wireless charging and two USB ports down there in that little hidden cubby. You have a secondary cubby right here for two drinks. A massive, massive space right here for more storage. Another charging port. You have another charging port right there. A secret little compartment right in there for your owner's manual and whatever else you decide to hide. A giant glove box. Two more cup holders back here. Cup holders in the door. Space down here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there's space down here on either side. Space down at the bottom. Let's jump in the back. There is the power running boards right there. I'll close the door to show you guys what it looks like. Let's see if it goes up. It usually takes a second. There we go. Space here, more space for drinks, a small cubby right here for the kids. Two more USB ports, a plug outlet. The back has its own entertainment system and climate control and on the limited, the rear seats are heated with even more space down here and another charging port if I can get it open. Now I'm six, I'm about six one fairly skinny but check that out look at all the leg room that I have this seat over here is almost all the way back and even here I still have plenty of room to kind of stretch out a little bit there's a lot more room in here than you think and you could more than comfortably carry seven adults in the very back it's still pretty good as well it's a little bit more cramped now this seat is as far back as it will go the other seat over here is up a little bit further forward, and I still have a good bit of leg room. What's good as well is that you can kind of stretch one leg out, but more cup holders, more USB ports, more storage, and the rear seats will actually recline. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But you can adjust the rear seats, which is not something you can do on very many vehicles. There's a bit of a handle right here that allows you assistance in getting in and out so all in all it is a vehicle with tons of room I'm standing inside of this vehicle right now 
and there is just gobs of room all the way around. It looks fantastic from every angle and it drives just as good as it looks. And if you need to get access to your cargo when your hands are full, simply walk to the back, give a wave, and up it comes. For particularly large cargo that isn't gonna fit as easily, with the push of a button, you can totally stow the front and rear seats. And no more climbing in to raise them up. With another push, up they come. The Expedition is also loaded with sensors. It has sensors on the front, the sides, and the back, meaning that parking is a breeze. You always know exactly where you are in relation to everything else. And even navigating small spots and tight parking maneuvers, it's not a problem. 